and I'm glad to have you back. Now, before we move on in our program, there are a few, there's just one simple correction I'd like to make. If we look at the grid, when we're creating our tile sets in tiled, it was a 16 by 16 pixel, but our grid is a 32 by 32. Basically, we have 16, another 16, 16, 16, so this grid is 32. Let's fix that such that our level is the same grid size. So let's open up and click Setup Grid, and let's switch this over to 16 by 16 pixels. Just so, uh, just by doing that, we can actually see that our uh, our level is actually uh, mapping out uh, nicely. So what we're going to do now is to discuss about collisions and what they are. So basically, how is the player able to stand firmly in the world? And to do that, let's go ahead and add two simple platforms. So let's create two objects. So let's just say add a new object and I'll just see new object from scratch. Let's create a sprite. Yeah, why not? So let's say, uh, let's call this object one and click on add animation and let's say create with Pishkel. And let's just fill this with any random color so I fill the first one with this color and I hit apply and I drag this over here. And this is over here. We can actually place it over here. That's fine. And let's add a new object, sprite. Let's call that object two and click on add animation and say create with pitch scale. And let's just fill another color click the fill tool and click save, click apply. Now we have object one and object two, so I'll just drag object two right here. So what I'll do next is to set this to, uh, let's set this to the same layer. Let's look at our layer stacks. Let's set these two to be on the player layer. So let's go here and say uh, player and player. So these two objects are on the player layer. Which is super great. So if we preview our scene, we're just going to see this uh, this thing right here in our face. <laughs> That's super weird. What we can add is a behavior that would let this object have some gravity and physics. So let's quickly double click on that object too. Let's go to behaviors and let's say add a behavior. And let's put a uh, platform character on this object and hit apply and let's click on our scene to preview. So we just saw that fall right through the scene that was super fast. So let me just set that again, play that again. And if you observe, you can see that green, you know, object two just fall through. Now object two has some gravity applied to it. And the cool thing is we can actually control object two right now. You can actually see it has some gravity, which is set at uh, 1000 pixels per second square. It has jump. If we can use the space bar, it can actually use the default controls if we let it have default controls. So let's go ahead and click on object one. And we'll just double click on that and go to behaviors, add behavior, and let's add a platform character and then on check uh, default controls. And if we want this, if we don't want this to have, or uh, let's let's make this guy a platform. So let's add, let's just say platform. Yeah, so let's just call this a platform so we can have some physics. So good. So what's happening now is the red block is a platform, but then the green block is not a platform, it's actually a player. If I press the space bar, it can jump, it can move left and right. If we actually go over here, it can fall off the screen. So what's happening here is that this is this has collision masks, and because we've set it to a, an object that has the platform behavior applied to it, we cannot pass through it. So that's just a neat trick. So how can we create we can use the same idea to create a platform that will kind of like, you know, be the base for our level. So let's just go over here and use object two 
and just shrink it down like so and just drag this over here I'll just drag this here and then drag this over here as well right so if this is our, our section where the player is going to walk on and let's click on our player and let's add the platform uh, before we add the platform character behavior to our player uh, let's just do that platform character and uh, leave it at default controls and hit apply we can have these two objects now being controlled in our scene if we use the right and left keys we can actually move them together and we can press the space bar to jump so uh, that's going to be a quick one for this tutorial now you can actually see what we can do here we can create another platform over here and set it to jump through which we're going to convert this to a jump through platform such that our player can jump through and fall down through it so let's go ahead and do that right now so I'll click this platform and kind of like drag it over here I'm going to make this super small and just leave it to this point and let's double click on this and go to behaviors let's get rid of the platform or object and let's add the platform behavior but let's set this to a jump through platform and hit apply and what we can do is to create one more object here for our ladder so let's quickly do that so we can use a tiled sprite and we can set it to 16 by 16 pixels as well and what we can do is to create uh, let's just call this our jump through and let's create with Piscale and let's use a nice color for it let's try this uh, and let's hit apply so remember it has a uh, let's set a uh, pl platform object and let's set this to a jump through platform so that you can jump through it and what we can actually do is to drag jump through and place jump through over here and uh, let's set jump through let's open our object instance properties and let's click on jump through and send jump through on the player layer so we can see it so just where we have our uh, oh sorry this is not a jump through i was supposed to create a uh, a ladder object which is totally fine so let's go ahead and fix that so let's double click this guy go to behaviors and let's set this to ladder and hit apply so what we can do next is to group these three objects and hide them when the game starts so but first let's quick preview and now we can see we have our player we can move our player our player can jump and be on that top vine if we press down our player can pass through that vine then on the ladder layer if we hold up our player can like totally you know walk up and down the ladder but I noticed there's a Z order sorting right here so let's go ahead and fix it we also have that Z sorting problem on this jump through platform because if our player is jumping through we can actually uh, he's going to be behind we want our player to always be at the front so because they are on the same layer if we check our player our Z order is 1 so let's set this Z order this is 10 12 basically if we set our players Z order to be the highest let's say 20 if we go to our file and go to save and click preview now if we're jumping through our player is in front and if we climb that ladder our player is going to be in on top of that as well so uh, in our next lesson i'll show you how we can create a group of objects and then hide these objects when the game begins see you guys in the next lesson